Here's our journey for the 3rd of June, going from Old Grimsby Sound to New Grimsby Sound, which is on the edge of Tresco. So we come out from our anchorage, we go south, landing all the rocks, you'll see the red stars, they're all rocks, finding Crow Rock, turning right to starboard, through St Mary's Road, they call it, then due north again, past Holman Starboard Hand Marker and at Rags Ledge Port Hand Marker, up through the various islands, Merrick Island on the port, Plum Island on the starboard, and we continued up north to have a look at what was going on in the deeper water, then came back down and found a nice anchorage near New Grimsby Harbour jetty. You see a little bit of swinging going on there. Here comes our intrepid explorer. He's been exploring ashore, he's putting a few revs on. He went to shore to look at the castle. Side. It's coming into New Grimsby Sound, looking for Annika's Pier. And here we are at Great Popplestone Bay. Barney and Alan decided to climb the hill, which we'll come to in a minute. And John and I decided to go around and have a look at the bay. So America's down there somewhere. And there they are, the explorers, the mountaineers, on top of the hill. Taking selfies. There's round islands in the distance over the Tresco, Amambraia. Oh, there's the other way around. Ah. Bishop Rock. Six meters of water, and you can see the bottom. Here goes the uh, the heads party. Oh, really doing well, John. A bit nose down, but. Port a bit. <laughs> Excellent, eh? Well, here's Zigazoo, and we've returned to St. Mary's Harbour. But as you might work out, 
there's a wall of sea mist over there. And what you should be in to see Samson, you can't see anything. Journey for the 6th of June, going from St. Mary's Harbour through St. Mary's Roads, and this time we were sailing, hence the tagline as you can see, past Crow Rock, then going north between Tresco and St. Martin's, and we had a quick look round and found an anchorage on John Martin's ledge. Here we are on St. Martin's Island. We've just landed in the dinghy. Sea Zoo is just there. St. Mary's is only over there. What a lovely place. A couple of boats around, lots of people on the beach, going for a swim. This is our cruise for the 7th of June, going from our anchorage at St Martin's all the way around the northern perimeter of the islands, back down into St Martin's Bay, looking for suitable anchorages, really just to explore the area, back out and around Northern Chapel Rock, which is huge. We were looking for Little Arthur and Great Arthur. And we were going to anchor in Arthur Porth, but when we got there, found it was too rocky and it wouldn't hold. So we came back out, went back over to St. Martin's and found Watermill Cove, where we circled a couple of times until we found a suitable depth to anchor in. Well, we came around Ragged Rock and we went into what we thought was going to be a fabulous bay. The bay itself was fabulous, but it was a very rocky bottom. So we decided we're going to go round to Watermill. As far off the rocks as go round. This is our cruise for the 8th of June, going from Watermill Cove all the way through the western approaches of the northwest passage up to Samson. So we start at Watermill Cove and let me zoom in quickly. You will see there's a red dot. If I can put the X on it, little red dot here. Well, we found that rock as the bottom of Ziggy Zoo caressed the rock on the way out. No long term damage, just a bit of pride. Anyway, out via hats, Crow Rock. We were sailing in the sound, all the way out towards the northwest passage. Then we turned northeast up through some pretty harrowing rocks with the swells, circling yellow rock where we finally put our anchor down late in the afternoon. Some good videos to follow when we walked onto Samson. Here's Zigazoo passing Crow Rock in the middle of St. Mary's Sound almost. Right into the wind, southwesterly wind. 
bit of swell coming in. We are out in the middle of the sound, making our way to Samson. Bit roly roly, long swell you might have been to pick up. John is doing a good job at the helm. Looks like Buffalo Bill. Yes, look at that swell coming in. <clears throat> We've got to go down there somewhere and then turn sharp right. Zigazoo sitting at anchor along with one other boat just off more rocks this time yellow rock I think we'll be off to the beach in a minute Skip has promised us some eggs on toast we're not sure who's cooking, but we know who's eating because we're hungry. It's a bit of a roly roly, we'll be alright. We've had a worse. And I've got St. Mary's over there somewhere. Alright. Here we are on the top of Samson. There's the Bishop Lighthouse in the far distance. We came in down here from the Atlantic Swell, follow the course through the rocks. And there's Zigizu just in front of Yellow Rock. You can see Briar. There's the island over there. This one with the white lighthouse. The name escapes me. And they've got a cruise ship in. Here come the boys. Oh, there go the boys. Here's another view from the other end of Samson. Overlooking the white sands and the blue water. You can see how difficult it is to get around those rocks. Just gotta be careful. The population of St. Mary's is quadrupled or more by the visit of Viking Venture, I believe it is. Here's Zigizu again. We're anchor again between Briar and Tresco. Got a bit of kelp weed here, but I think we're safe from it. And beautiful sunset over to the west. And we're looking over here to Annika's Jetty, as it's known as. And there's quite a few boats here today, more than previously. Anyway, I reckon they've come over here because of the. Uh... 
bathroom. Um, we're going to have an early night. We have to get up at early tomorrow. What time, Skipper, tomorrow? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay, from Zigazoo, good night.